this view that we have as we're starting our hunt today is one of my favorite reasons to continue to come back to Yukon Valley. When it snows, especially in the dead forest, it just looks incredible, but I wanted to come out here for a number of reasons. Number one is, it's been a while since we've used the compound bow, and I was kind of thinking it might be fun to go after wolves with that. The other side of it is, I was kind of editing the end of the month montage, and I didn't see anything from Yukon in that, so I thought maybe just maybe the last video before the montage of September, we could get something cool for that, and we'll kind of see how that goes. But the primary goal is going to be Wolves of the Bow, and we'll kind of just see what we find along the way. And go figure, the first animal of the hunt is a mythical red fox, and I wanted to kind of make this quick and start to pretty much cover as much ground as possible, because I've always found that gray wolves are their most aggressive, like before 7 a.m. while they're feeding. So we're gonna go ahead and take that shot and be on our way. When I say hunting gray wolves with the bow, by the way, I don't really intend on trying to call them in. It's a bit of a pain to get them to come in, they're very slow, and I'm hoping they'll kind of attack us, and I do think hunting them with the bow, or at least trying to take them out with the bow when they're attacking is going to be interesting, but other than that, we'll kind of have the 7 mil for bison, moose, caribou, and potentially longer shot on the wolves, and of course the 243 for red fox, a 13.2 mythical. If we were to like rank order all of our red fox from that entire grind of like 750 plus red fox, that would be like number four. We had a couple of troll nines and one eight bigger than that, I think, and all that, so pretty crazy to start out that way. By the way, before we get too far into this, I wanted to make a quick kind of PSA. We're not going to have a Twitch stream today. I'm actually going to be in Georgia by this time this video comes out, but I'll be back the next day and there still will be a Twitch stream on Friday. So wanted to clarify that in case anybody was curious. And uh, with that out of the way, we'll be on our way here. I'm a little worried that the water might mess with us, but this is what I was hoping to see. And we know that the compound bow is very good against things like water buffalo and cape buffalo. I think a better shot would have helped us a lot there, but I just think it's going to be interesting to do this. We've done it in the past with a little more success than we've had immediately so far. Our shots are just not ending up in the vitals. We may need to try a different approach here. I think potentially just shooting them when they are a little more still might be the move. A bunch of them are hit. That one's just going swimming. Let's try to do a little better. That was a drop shot, so that's kind of more of what we want. Okay, thought that one was going to keep moving. It sounds like, or it sounded like, they were maybe going to quit. A lot of these are ending up not being vital hits, which is very surprising to me. The bow has incredible penetration. Now we're starting... Did one just disappear? What just happened? Okay. There were, like, multiple wolves. This just straight up disappeared, I think. Just what I was getting ready to say, now we're starting to hit a groove and actually make some shots. I think, like, two or three of them just vanished. I... I have never seen that before. I'm gonna see if we can maybe track this one and see what happened. Assuming there are tracks to follow, maybe Rascal can help us. I mean, he's barking like it's dead right here. But it's not. I just heard another, like, aggressive wolf. What is going on? I thought this was gonna be, like, a simple, fun idea, and now I'm just mostly confused. I'm also realizing our health is in no position to immediately take this out. We gotta heal first. It's just kind of a natural thing, especially when using a slower firing weapon. I think it's just gonna circle us. What on earth are we seeing? Okay, that one stopped. Or stopped for a second. Like, how are we supposed to do this? Maybe if we run into them? Yeah, that kind of triggered the animation I wanted. Still struggling. At least we got a long shot there. This is genuinely the weirdest wolf hunt I've ever been on. And we're not ten minutes in. Still, those frontal shots are just not it. We definitely have to be a little more careful with them. He's doing the circling thing again. Oh, well, we hit him again. I guess that's going to bring him down. Some moose running off in the background, but... 
This is such a difficult shot to make when they're just circling at that range. There we go. All right. At least none disappeared. There's a distant, like, barking, growling sound somewhere. As for where it is, I have no idea. First gold wolf of this, and we kind of shot him as he was starting to duck away. So we lucked out there and just missed out on another gold. Gold is 36, and of course that guy is 35.9. So kind of getting somewhere as far as a little more consistent with shots, but difficult to do when they're running in circles and disappearing, evidently. It's so hard to say, especially with a wolf hunt, because you don't know really how often they're going to charge versus how often they are going to flee, but I'm not sure we're going to get a ton of use out of these 7 mil today. So with the opportunity at a pretty decent sized level 3 bull moose, I thought we'd go for that long shot, and he's going to run for quite some distance because of course the 7 mil is underpowered for them, but maybe just maybe he'll lead us to some other wolves that are in the area. Since the last pack there, it's been pretty dead and I guess fitting for a dead forest, but I'm not so sure where they're all hiding. Well, at the end of the trail, we have one down silver moose and no sign of any more wolves, so I'm kind of thinking of going up into that area. We're kind of towards the northern end of Wolfhead Lake right now. I know they kind of rest up in here, and like I was saying at the beginning of the video, I find that they're more aggressive during their feed time than their rest time, so hopefully we can find some that are going to be aggressive for us. Well, that's not something you see incredibly often. A level 5 female Grey Wolf, they, I believe, do max at level 5 for females, and that doesn't really mean anything as far as the score. Actually, next to a Mythical, but it's still going to be a Silver regardless. I think what I'd like to do is try to take that with the 7 mil, and maybe because we're leaving the male, they might go aggressive after that. The female went to fleeing, so I think they all will. In that case, because they are a predator species, they like to do a lot of kind of like standing around and stuff. Of course, he's standing behind a tree, but we can go ahead and attempt to get the mythical. I don't know if we got the tree hitbox or what just made us miss. That'll do. Just every single pack of wolves, we have some kind of weird stuff going on today, but I am intrigued by that level 5. I don't know what the max weight for female wolves is, but it's so rare to see that 5 come up that I wonder if it might be. And what other hunt would it be where a wolf dies like this? I mean, that's just kind of creepy. I don't know if I'm going to use that for the thumbnail, maybe. It just, it fits. A weird wolf hunt like this, but let's go ahead and see what we have for this. I hope we can get the camera to go away. It's 54.57 kg, so I would say not the max. Pretty good sized silver, though, at 34.1. I'm guessing it's maybe like 55 kg for, like, max for a female wolf, so probably still a pretty big one but yeah like I said not something you see incredibly often and then after a whiff whether we hit the tree or whatever happened we got our mythical down as well a 37.8 so our best male and female wolf actually out of the same pack there at 10 to 12 score estimate that would be a guaranteed gold red fox and I know we're not gonna get a lot of opportunities for those so we'll go ahead and drop that guy as well Probably the first time in a long time that our only two Red Fox kills, at least to this point, have been golds. So I guess that's kind of a good thing. We went ahead and switched servers just in hopes of maybe running into more wolves, more wolves that want to go aggressive, or just potentially uncommon or bigger wolves. We saw a lot of the ones on that previous server, and at the beginning we actually took out a bunch with the bows. So hopefully a different server is going to yield different results, but at the very least starting off with a gold fox here pretty much on the bottom end of that estimate, but we actually heart shot on the way he was sitting there. I definitely wasn't trying to do that, just wanted lungs, but we'll definitely take it. And yeah, as we're kind of getting pretty much into the same area where we encountered the last ones, hopefully there's going to be wolves on this server as well. Well, maybe with one last opportunity here, we can go after these wolves. I swear I just heard, yeah, there is one a lot closer. So it seems like they're doing the thing again, though, where they just kind of run in circles. And the only way that we could deal with it before, other than, I guess, just hitting them as they're doing that, was to allow them to hit us. And that kind of slowed them down. So for the mythical, I think that might be a good thing. Do we get along there? I believe so. Now, are they still aggressive? No, they're going to flee. So by shooting the biggest wolf in that pack, I assume the alpha, that kind of caused them to run off. And 
I know we hit the level 6, the first one that went through there as well. A little anticlimactic, but we got ourselves our second Mythical Grey Wolf, a 69.69 kg weight, go figure. And there should be another one down. I can still hear these guys growling. Are they... No, they're not still aggressive. They just haven't got anywhere. Actually, this guy is still hanging out. I think he's about to die. Can we get a shot off before he drops to maybe get him? I guess that's farther than I thought. And that's less... I think he must be right at 50. Okay. Third time's the charm to bring him down. He was up to 36 and a level 6, so there's a chance he could be a gold. I don't know what these guys are doing. I mean, it's par for the course. Every time we've attempted to take wolves with the bow today, they've been kind of odd. Actually, we shot him in the skull to begin with, so we never had a chance actually at getting the gold. Not only was he below that, but that first shot would have taken it away. So I don't really know what to think about this hunt. I really did enjoy actually going after them with the bow, but they were acting so odd the entire time. It made it really difficult to really properly do anything. And by the way, just anybody that doesn't know, that is a feed zone. Um, that's not blood from another wolf that we would have shot. Wanted to maybe clarify that, because I know it's not the most obvious thing in the world, but I don't know. I really, like, I wanted to do maybe more of that going forward. It just, every time we went to do it, it seemed like it kind of threw the wolves off. So I'm not sure. I liked it, but maybe we'll have to try something a little bit different for next time. But still kind of a cool experience taking the wolves out with a boat. We haven't done that in quite some time. And we got a couple of decent ones along the way. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.